Oh, hello! Good to see you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucas and I am uh, tired of making subtitles. Therefore, I'm making this video in English. So today I have decided to go to Belgium with a friend of mine, uh, whose name is also Lucas. So we're going to Belgium, very quick, one day trip, uh, by bike, with a tent, um, somewhere in the wild. We will see where, where, where the road brings us, but I hope it's gonna be fun, and I hope you're gonna like it. Uh, so currently I'm looking at uh, the map uh, and possible places we shall visit on the way. Uh, I always like to, you know, touch upon some history facts on my trips, so I hope I can deliver this as well. As you can see in the background, I'm uh, currently planning the trip, looking at the possible places we should we, sh we should visit uh, on the way. So I still have lots of things to do. Uh, I have to prepare for one of the tutorials on Monday. I'll get this done, and then I'm gonna start packing and uh, we will meet Lucas somewhere in the city. So this is what we are taking. I would like to take this one as well, but not this time. Um, yeah, so not so much time left. Quarter after two, quarter past two, so I have to be half past three at the place we have planned to meet uh, with Lucas. Not me, the friend. <laughs> so, yeah, but just quickly, uh, overview of what I'm taking. So, my rainproof, rainproof jacket, rainproof pants, because from the weather it feels like as we might get some rain and uh, my bibs uh, solar panel actually I don't think I'm gonna take it because yeah, it's cloudy and I don't know if I need it uh, then we have my uh, power bank pretty good pretty good one 30,000 should be enough for two days thanks to Chris who gave it to me uh, yeah that's all the tools I have <laughs> and some knife it's a pocket knife toothbrush that's for tea, make some tea in the evening. Uh, oats with peanuts for breakfast. Uh, socks for the night, warm socks. Some wat uh, water. <laughs> uh, tent, ten the tent, sleeping bag. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. And uh, just gonna make some lunch now. And uh, I'm gonna go.
What's up? Ready for the ride. I'm I'm ready. Very nice. That looks awesome. Yeah, I miss the feeling, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see you from afar. When I was way over there, I could see you glowing here like a yellow star, a green star. What's our plan? Let's go to Liège. Liège? That's like 30 kilometers, right? Yeah. Do we stop at the fort? Of course we do. Okay. Okay. All right, so now we go to fort then. Yeah, let's okay. go for okay. Ibn Emal. <laughs> That's the fort, Eben Emal. Correct, yeah. <laughs> you should know a lot about it, right? Well, as, as, as a... I should, as, as a German. As yeah. a German. <laughs> I gave a chance for you to say it. Well, I actually don't know that much about it, but I do know that this is one of the first places that the German army invaded in the Second World War. Here we can enter we could. We could. There was a gate. Yeah. Yeah, what I read, I was not sure what was the reason of building it. It was built in 1930s, like 33, 35. So before, as you said, the Second World War. But did it work? Did it help? To, to, because the Germans invaded anyways, right? The story I know is that um, that the fort wasn't able to hold the border, yeah. so that um, the German forces landed on top of the um, on top of the hill. There's there's a big flat area where you can land planes, and that um, you know, like a castle in the Middle Ages that was under siege, that this fort as well uh, wasn't able to to withstand. That's what. Damage from the boils, right? Probably, that's what it looks like. Nice. So let's find the way to get inside or what? We'll have to look quite hard. <laughs> oh man, yeah, look. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, so this this whole fort has six of such bunkers, and that gun right there, it's called it's uh, called anti-tank gun, machine gun, and uh, yeah, suppose I I assume they would stop the tanks. The one of the biggest tanks in Europe was held here. Uh, he was telling before about the planes, so we read here that such type of planes landed on top of the bunker yeah so they use such type of equipment this was the first time it's a bomb right yeah it's, it's a, this word right here it's a type of bomb exactly so it says in Tegenstelling to the in classic bomb it's it's um, in contrast to a classic bomb yeah uh, every bit of explosive power in this device is bundled uh, onto a very very small space and that means you can create enormous pressure blowing away the top of a bunker for instance uh, and enormous heat and uh, then you just melt everything what's inside exactly. that's in this picture shown right you can you can melt any material and they, so. they were aware of the, the, the planes that uh, that could potentially land on the bunker but they were not they, aware of this tool were, right they were aware of uh, of the normal German planes, but this was this plane was also a new invention. So it, it's a very slow plane that's able to land on on a very small amount of space. 
Is it like a helicopter then? It's like a helicopter, so Svebflugtech, it's like a Zeppelin almost. Oh, okay. It means okay. it can just, uh, you know, sink down very slowly. And using this, they were able to destroy even Emma, so the strongest fort in Europe at the time, actually. Well, not the strongest Germans, right? Apparently not. The strategic attacks from the Second World War and Dunkirk and Calais. Those are the two cities we went already with my brother. As you could see from the videos, France 2020. That's not the type of trip I was talking about. <laughs> Walking stairs. Strength is here. Remember just that loop? Yeah, I was already working in the muscles were still. Yeah, I was working. Working at the You know what? This place would be awesome for our friend Deer. Remember? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Although the deer would probably get a stomach ache. It would be so greedy. <laughs> no. Just. Yeah, we're talking about the deer that we filmed, and we were just making a practice trip. This is also now a practice trip, right? For a longer yeah, of journey. Course. That was just like one four hours quick trip. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. A dangerous strategy, you know, because once you're here, you have nowhere to hide. And then you go, then you like, you see right there? Yeah, that's why you do a surprise attack. Yeah, but uh, it's not I a mean, surprise, you know. Well, it's, it's a surprise because they didn't think that uh, the Germans would be able to land planes here. Oh, okay, because okay. they didn't expect that they have these, uh, you know, these zeppelin planes. That yeah, because I haven't seen any pictures. Now you but, would. Um, now at the moment you would be able to land a normal plane here. Yeah, any way. plane. Yeah. If you can land okay. it. Maybe not a jumbo jet, but. <laughs> well, if they, if they manage yeah. to land uh, it on in the, in the river. Military planes and something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're right. If you manage to land a plane in the Hudson River, then. Uh, in the Albert Canal, so. <laughs> you know, it looks like an alien starship or whatever they call it. Does. A UFO. Yeah. So peaceful now, but not at the time, right? Now it's crazy to imagine what happened here 76 years ago. More than 76. 80. 81. No, actually 76. It's like 45, 1945. 1945 is 76, but the inv invasion was 1940, so 86 yeah. years ago people were dying over here. So lucky we live in today's times, actually, exactly. I think. Exactly. Completely built from this flint stone that you have here. Is it flint? Yeah, it's flint. Yeah, that's why you find all of these old tools from Neanderthals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true, true. Area. Yeah, to enter, you have to pay. We like to enter, we don't like to pay. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't be able to use it at its fullest, right? Because you cannot only go on top of it, but you have a nice. Uh, uh, front yard, garden, whatever. So I think we won't be able to use it as fullest. But do you know what the story of it? I have no what idea. is this? I have no idea. I read that this is uh, taken from uh, Bible and ancient civilizations. Uh, we have the bull over here, eagle. Then we have, oh wait. That's, that's the eagle, yeah. That's the eagle. That's the eagle. Yeah. And then that one is Sphinx. That's the Sphinx. Lion, eagle, Sphinx, bull. Yeah. So three animals that we can yeah. really find in nature and one mythological animal with yeah. the Sphinx. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, this was built in 1950s. Yeah. And uh, there is a museum 
that uh, tells the history of, of how the flint was used uh, back in the day. And then we don't know anything else. Yeah, it's 650 per person, so we need our money for food. Yeah, we need, we need food. We only have spaghetti, not, we don't even have salt, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just a cool place to see, right? Please say yes. Absolutely. Please say yes. <laughs> you say yes, right? Yes. Okay, sir. yeah, <laughs> awesome. All we need. I want to see bull in the market, in the stock market. This, this. <laughs> That's all I need. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shall we go to Liege? Let's go. We haven't done much. 15 kilometers. Well, oh, 15 have... kilometers. Oh, oh but that's on. including walking. Three hours left. Three, Three hours, hours left. left. Come on, let's go. If we do an hour of cycling, we cover 15 more kilometers, then we're almost in Liege. Oh, yeah. Then we've oh, done yeah. 30. Yeah, let's do. 15 so... more. I think it's 45. So now we can just go to Liege, straight, straight to Liege. Uh, let's try. Huh? <laughs> Looks like we have found the road, the, the, the cycling path, and he has a map. Yeah. So, so let's see, see what we got. The, where the other number goes. We're at exactly the right place on the map. So we're right here, 407. So we go in this direction. Now we go up the hill, and that's Liege right here. That's Maastricht over here. So that means we're over halfway to Liege. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> How exciting! Yeah, we did like 16 kilometers. Yeah. Wait, I see. Oh my god! I... Okay. You stopped it again? Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's all good. Have you ever heard anyone going on a trip about any issues? Not me. I haven't. No. <laughs> Oops. Well, at least I don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Stand by and watch. Watch the pros. You can time me. Yes, sir. funny to say but I love it. It's always fun to go uphill. The best part is that you go, you see the corner, but anything, oh that's the top. Most of the time it's not. But who cares? It's fun. So, we, we just cycled it. like 20 kilometers, 
to Liège. We are in Liège, but I'm tired. <laughs> food. We need food. We need food. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to find a place to sleep. Stores are closed since eight. Now it's quarter to nine. But we found one place two kilometers away from here. So it's 24 seven. So we're gonna buy lots of food. So we found this place, 24 7, 24, 24, 7, 7, <laughs> whatever it means. So I hope it's not gonna be too expensive, but let's check it out. We found some restaurants, but they were closing at 10. The kitchen was closing, and we wanted to eat. I like to drink, but I want to eat as well. So, yeah, so that, therefore we're waiting here to see if we can get some fries for 3 euros, I see. 35 kilometers since last time. Um, so since that flint tower yeah pretty fun I like it I love it cycling another country uh, just away from all the problems that will be back tomorrow <laughs> but for now let's enjoy and let's try to get some fries for three euros three euros grande sauce tell me Okay, so they have toilets here, just upstairs. Awesome, but I cannot they use it. Right? Burgers. Come on. They have burgers. Burgers. Seven, seven euros for a good burger. Oh, uh, but a good burger. Looks like a Not burgers. just a burger, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a burger. I don't know if they're good, but... Uh, no, Shall we look, take a look, burger and fries? That sounds good, yeah. Yeah, 10 euros. Burger and fries, 10 euros, yeah. Thank you, man. Oh. Burgers and fries. And what do you say? Are you ready for some delicious food? <laughs> that looks good. All right. That is good. Time for me to try. <laughs> How much salt? <laughs> Here's hidden advertising. I am. <laughs> Maybe you can get some royalties from Jupiter. That would be nice. I don't mind. Oh. Eleven o'clock. I think it's time to find a spot to stay. To sleep. Good idea. So, do you think we're going to that fort? That one. I'd say we could try. It's in the right direction. Yeah. It's gonna be a fun place. So we have an idea of where we want to go. I've seen this place from uh, Google Maps. If you remember the time lapse from the beginning of the video, 
when I was looking at the maps. So it's somewhere there. Thing is, the initial plan was to get into that fort. But uh, I think I'm not gonna dare to do it. <laughs> so we're just gonna find a place, you know, in between somewhere the, the trees. Because there is a forest, possibly. All right. It's like three kilometers away from here, like 10 minutes of, of cycling, so. We'll figure this out. Up the hill we go. I mean, what, what can happen? I want to show the area, but not on camera. That's okay. Yeah, those are the people who are afraid to go in. No, yeah, right here. Now they're going in. Yes, we are back in the tent. Hey. <laughs> hey <bro>. Yeah. <laughs> we have our tea. gonna have a tea soon. I don't want to film too much because of the place we are but oh yeah they're coming right uh, so all right guys so we made it to the place we went to camp and we certainly are camping back in a tent uh, waiting for tea to be ready uh, pretty nice pretty cozy but there are tons of people around us uh, when we entered, there were like four, I don't know, not kids actually, 25, 24 years old people. Mm -hmm. And they were telling the creepy stories about this place. And it is creepy when you hear those stories. So now, every now and then we see people with a flashlight, like groups of people, like six, eight people walking around. Um, but uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to show you the place. It's pretty cool place. Pretty scary. When you don't see stuff, we don't care. We're just going to tend here. And when I say here, it, this place, this area is specific. And uh, I will show you tomorrow how specific it is. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, subscribe if you don't mind, it doesn't cost you anything. So yeah, anything to add? Uh, I can simply wish you a good night as well. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy our midnight tea. Oh yeah. And. Uh, then we're also going to get a few well-deserved hours of sleep. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we will. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We'll anyway. see how many people annoy us, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they can see us perfectly now, but I don't think we'll be there to do it. Anyway, good night and see you in the next one. Bye.